Hi, today I'm going to show you how to draw a rectangle with rounded corners on a panel. You can also use this in look and feel functions. So I've got a panel here on the UI and I've set the item color to green. Let's also set item color two to the same shade of green. And we can see by default, let me zoom in on here, that the panel has a border and it's got a rounded uh, corner on each side. And those uh, those things, the border and the uh, roundedness of the corners is controlled by these two settings here. So we've got border size. So if I increase that to 20, we can see we get a thicker border. And if I set that to zero, the border disappears altogether. And we've got the border radius. So I'll set that to 20. We get nice rounded corners and we can set that to zero to remove the rounding altogether. So that's a way to do it without actually using a paint routine. That's just the basic panels properties. But let me show you how we can actually draw it ourselves. So let's get a reference to this panel. So I'm just going to right click, select create script variable definition and paste that into our script. And then we'll assign a paint routine to this panel. And we'll get the area of the panel into a variable called A. And now the panel visually disappears because we're drawing it now, but it's still there. Okay, first of all, let's set the color and we'll set it to the panel's item color. And then let's draw a filled in rectangle. So G dot fill rect and we'll put our area variable there. And I'll hit F5 and now we just get the same green rectangle we had before. Okay, so we can swap out this function g.fillRect for g.fillRoundedRectangle. And we can put our area here. And then for this corner data parameter, we can specify a radius. So let's specify 20. And we get a rectangle that looks pretty much like we had before with the filled in panel. Of course, if we change the size of this rectangle, let's just change the area here, then it's actually going to be smaller than the panel. And we could draw multiple rectangles uh, within a single panel as well. I'll just bring that back to the full size of the panel. Now let's say we don't want to round all of the corners. We only want to round one of them, for example. So we can change this parameter here. So instead of putting a single value, we'll actually put an object and we'll give it a property called corner size. And we'll set that to 20. And we'll give it a second property called rounded. And this is going to be an array that takes four values. I'm just going to give us a bit more room here so we can see that. Okay, so it takes four values and these represent the four corners. So if I hit a five now, none of the corners are rounded. If we change this first zero to a one, this corner is rounded. If we change the second zero to a one, this corner is rounded. These two still aren't. Third zero, bottom left, and the fourth zero, bottom right. And of course, you can use any combination of these that you want to and round whichever corners you want to round and not round the ones you don't want to. And you can change the corner size as well. But they almost share the same corner size. So that's for a filled in rectangle. We can do exactly the same thing with a drawn rectangle. So if we comment that out, write g dot draw rounded rectangle. Again, we'll put the area and you see we have the same corner data property. So I'll just copy this one that we've got here. And the only extra thing we need to specify is how thick we want the border to be. So I'll just put, um, I'll put 10 there. And I'll hit F5 and now we get a drawn rectangle. Now you'll notice that it's cutting off the corners. That's because the border is going beyond the bounds of the panel. So if we make it a bit smaller, there we go. So now it's drawing it within the panel. Okay, that's all for this one. Hope you found it useful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.